and survive the Sun Steel Strike thanks to that natural bulk, and he gets the sticky webs up. But it still doesn't explain anything. Still doesn't explain Cats or Praise why you're only pa well now you're only you only got one Pokemon left. And it's Dusk Main. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, you know who it is. Coming at you guys back again once again with a brand new video. And I'm sorry I woke like ass, okay? I'm sorry I woke like a phantom. I just woke up out of bed and I got massive bedhead, man. But believe me when I say that I am a wide awake. Ain't no slow start gonna be stopping me from doing subscriber showdown Sunday style battles for you, baby. So what we got going on here is our 64 episode of subscriber showdown sundays and like always it features a various amount of amazing battles from you cool cats that you've submitted to me so with that said let's get right into the action and if you are new here be sure to turn on post notifications and subscribe as well because our community is absolutely amazing and we wouldn't be here without all of you so with that said let's get into the battle so the first battle that we got going on is a gen 7 RU match we got my home slice we have cats are praised baby how you doing man this is someone that has showcased a ton of hilarious gimmicks that have worked to perfection so cats are praised is packing the Lorantis, we have the Araquanid, we have the Kumpe, we have ourselves a Lycanroc midday form, we have the Ampharos, or could that be Mega Ampharos? Can't exactly remember 100% if Mega Ampharos is allowed in RU. We also have ourselves the Kamo- oh, oh, shit. Oh, man, that Pokemon, without a doubt, is gonna be very scary, because keep in mind that this battle took place after the release of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and... Given the fact that this thing now has access to all the buffs, oh jeez, it's, it's going to be a mess. It is going to be an absolute mess. No spoiler the third, I'm not liking, I'm not liking your chances, but then again, man, this individual's team is looking pretty damn good as well, because we got the Basculin, we also have ourselves a Kamo. Oh, could we be seeing an epic Titan clash of Kamo and Kamo? I sure hope so. We also have ourselves, bleh, we have ourselves the Carnivine, we got the Furret, we have a Drampa, aka Snoop Doggy Dog, and we have ourselves the Malamar. So, with that said, guys, let's get into the action. Woo! Here we go, baby. So, we are leading things off with the Araquanid and the Kamo. Oh, 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 here we go. So, Araquanid didn't have any of that. Switches right into Comfey, and we got the Poison Jab happening. Nice prediction there, and Comfey tanks up pretty damn nicely. I got to say, you got to respect the bulk of that flower lay. But we got Carnivon coming in, to, and it predicts that Leech Seed very nice. Okay, we have ourselves a really solid battle already. So Comfey now has to switch out and goes back into the Araquanid. And we got the Leaf Tornado. That's interesting. That's an interesting choice right there. But let's keep on going. We got ourselves another Leaf Tornado. And that's going to lower the accuracy of Araquanid. But then right there we have the Sticky Webs. That's the first demonstration of the buffs of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Araquanid, so awesome. So, we have ourselves the Infestation now, and that means it's trapped. And, no, we missed his Leech Life thanks to the Accuracy Drop, so... Things are kind of looking a little bit annoying at this point, and we got the Sludge Bomb, and it's got Poison. Are you kidding me? But, we have ourselves the Toxic Poison happening, so... There we go. We got ourselves a bit of Poison against Poison, but let's see this now, man. Woo! We got the Leaf Tornado happening. That's, again, going to be lower on the Accuracy, and that's just no fun right there. But we do have the Leech Seed that is... What? Are you kidding? Whoa! Cats are praised. That's such a prolificified thing. Oh, shit. Cats are praised roasting with that fire. Woo! Damn. Whoa. Man, Cats are praised. Got some spunk. I like that, bro. I love that. But let's see, let's continue the battle, man. Holy cow. So we have ourselves major health being worn down with the combination of poison and, and the infestation. But we got the leash left. This could be stealing some of that health back. And okay, this is getting real, real close. What is Carnivine going to do against Araquanid? Uh-oh. Let's see this now. And it's going to go for the synthesis. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. This is just like Cats are praised, man. Yo. You got that fire right there, baby. You got that fire. And Carnivine goes down as a result. So, now we got ourselves a ramp up in this. So, let's do this. No, it missed its toxic. It missed its toxic. And 
Oh, uh oh, Drampa with the substitute, man. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Why is it poisoned by the Toxic Orb? What, what does it have in mind? Oh, no. We got the facade happening. And with the crit that takes down the Confei, that just... Woo! That was unexpected for the win right there. But now we got the Lycan Rock coming in. Uh... We got the rock slide happening, and that's gonna break that substitute, man. But let's see this. We got the Dragon Claw. Man, is this a physical drama? But what the hell? This is just this is crazy. So we got ourselves a rock slide happening, and he just barely hangs up with 3% health. And, well, we'll get that. No! Lycan Rock, baby, goes down! Oh, no! And we got Drampa now going down to the poison, so it's 4 against 4 now. And... Oh shit, we got Kamo o happening. Oh, that's not good. And Malamar with the sticky web contrary boost the speed. And oh shit, here we go. Clangora Soul Blades coming in. It's coming, and that's gonna do a lot of damage. And look at that. Look at that. All five of its stats have been healed and have been boosted up, and he just went for the hidden power. And that's gonna take down the Malamar. We have ourselves a Kamo. I'm not liking Kamo O's chances. Clanging skills that well, without question, that's gonna take him out. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. And we have ourselves Basculin now. Basculin, baby, I'm not liking your chances. I just... Look. I think it's academic at this point, man. Kamo -O just is a... It's a monster. Oh, shit. I just can't believe this shit. We got ourselves... Woo! Oh, shit. With that, it was like a hidden power fighting. Damn. Oh, Caster Praise wins the battle! Oh shit, that was absolutely amazing. And I just gotta say that like the, the, the comments in the in the battle was fire as well, man. Holy cow! Like Caster Praise ain't ta ain't taking none of that shit. Whether it's for Lissify shit or not, man, he ain't taking it. Yo! That's absolutely fantastic, but Great game either way by both compares, but now, ladies and gentlemen, we're only just getting started, so let's go now to battle number two. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second match. What? Cats are, Cats are praised! What are you doing? You only have two Pokemon! Like, dude, okay, look. I know you are a master of gimmicks and all that stuff, but don't you think having only two Pokemon is playing the odds a little too much? Like, what the hell? He has our, We have Duskmane, Necrozma, and a Shuckle. That's it for his team! Like, what does he have in mind? Because Pokemon Trainer Richie has a full team of six! And this is a Gen 7 Ubers match as well. We have the Solgaleo, we got the Dawn Wings Necrozma, we have Decidueye, we got Pikachu, we got, I believe that's gotta be Mega Steelix, and we got Giratina. Like, I mean, even though, like, oh, half of his team is not Uber-like, how are you going to defy the odds or cats or praise? How are you gonna do that, man? Well, Best thing that we can do is really just sit and watch and see what goes down. So, let's get into match number two. Well, let's see this go down. So, we got ourselves Solgaleo and Shuckle leading off. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. It, well, it survived the Sun Steel Strike thanks to that natural bulk. And he gets his sticky webs up. But, it still doesn't explain anything. Still doesn't explain, Cats or Praise, why you're only... Pa well, now you're only, you only got one Pokemon left. And it's Dusk Main. Here we go. So, Necrozma... The, the other counterpart switches and whoa -ho -ho, shit you gotta be joking me man we have ourselves ultra necrozma and why does it look like a pixelated golden cookie right there what the hell well anyways it just went for the photon geyser and that didn't do any damage at all oh oh are you kidding me and we got whoa we got the dragon pulse happening and that was super effective thanks to don wigs necrozma to having the transformation and now we got still gallo coming in not quite affected by the sequence, but man, it's gonna take a lot of damage from that heat wave. Oh, here we go, baby. And Z Calm Mind! What are you doing with Z Calm Mind, man? What? And that heat wave just it just took out Solgaleo. Oh snap, here we go. Now we got the Steelix coming in. Oh god. Uh and it's Mega Steelix now, but can it survive? Well, no, it it can't survive. Thanks to Neural Force boosting these super effective moves by 20%. It's like a built-in expert belt. And now we got Pikachu just getting absolutely obliterated by the Photon Geyser, man. Woo! And we got Giratina now coming in, and that Dragon Pulse, it barely lives with 10% health. And Hyper Voice? Really? With the Hyper Voice? Are you kidding me? But anyways, that Photon Geyser is going to be enough to take down the Giratina. And it's come down to this, baby. We have Decidueye. Can Decidueye survive? Oh, oh, here we go. 
Oh, the Zim Power! The light that burns the sky is going to burn up to situate chances of survival. And Cats are praised and winning! What? He only won with two Pokemon. Are you actually kidding me right now? What? Holy shit! That's absolutely amazing right there. Holy cow! Man, oh man, alive! I just gotta say, like, this right here is why you are a master of gimmicks, because it's like. We, like, at, at, at first glance, you know, I, I'm thinking you're absolutely out of your mind by having only two Pokemon, but... <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you saw it right there. He made that shit work. So, with that said, great game by both competitors, but let's go ahead and let's move on to the third match. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready for the third match? It is a Gen 7 Double Zoe match. We got Yoda 2798 against my man, Grand Empress. Oh shit, this is gonna be good because Yoda's packing the Naganandel. We have, I believe, that's gonna be a Mega Scizor. We have the Kirin Black. We have Tapu Koko. Go, 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 go. With ourselves the Mew and the Pelipper. A very interesting combination indeed. Now, Grand Empress's team consists that of Stack Attacka. We have the Necrozma. We have, is that Mega Salamence right there? I can't even tell. We got Tapu Koko as well, and Tapu Bulu and Volcanion. So. With all that being said, guys, let's just go and get into the third match. Oh, uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So we have ourselves Mew and Kieran Black leading off against Tapu Koko and the Necrozma. Oh, shit. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. And Tapu Koko goes for that protect. And the fake out right on... on oh, no. I was going to say the fake out right on the Necrozma. And it just got bombarded with that icy wind. That speed's not looking too good. But Tapu Koko fires back with a good Dazzling Cream up in this. And Mew goes for the Transformer, transforms into Necrozma. And of course, now we have ourselves... Oh, we got lots of action happening, man. This is getting absolutely crazy right now. So, let's see what's going to happen next. So we got the Volt Switch happening from Tapu Koko. And now... We Woo! The Berlin Wall stack attack up, baby. Oh, it is shiny too. And that Icy Wind is just pummeling that speed. Oh my god. And we were supposed that Photon Geyser on the Berlin Wall. Not going to be doing that much damage. Woo! But we do have the Trick Room, though. And Berlin goes for that Protect. And let's see what's going to happen. Photon Geyser going to be taking out the Kiram Black. Oh, shit. This is getting crazy. And, well, that Earth Power is not going to be doing anything. Oh, man. And now we got Scizor coming in. Or should I say the Mega Scizor? Whoa! Berlin Wall has a Z-move happening in the Continental Crush is... Well, that's gonna easily take down the Necrozma Mutant. Uh-oh! We got the Beast Boost happening, and we got that Earth Power happening as well on the Mega Scizor. We got that Bug Bite, and that is gonna take down the, the Necrozma. And he just ate that Iapa Berry and gained the full effect of it too. Oh, snap. And now we have ourselves Volcanion coming in, and Tapu Koko is coming in as well. Oh, here we go, baby. And Scissor now has got switch and goes into the Pelipper. All right, this is getting interesting here. And Tapu Koko now goes for that Protect, and let's see what's going to happen. Oh, the Chara Ball failed. And that's, that Flintthrower is obviously not going to do anything either. And Berlin Wall now switches out and goes into Tapu Bulin. Oh, here we go. And Tapu Koko switches out and goes into Mega Scissor, baby. Oh, and that Steam Eruption now, that... Oh, it does so much damage, and it burns Mega Scissor, and now we got the Hurricane from the Pelipper, and, well, that's, uh, that didn't confuse them, but it did do some respectable damage. But let's see what's gonna happen next, though. So we got the Bullet Punch happening, and that didn't do really any damage because of the burn. Then, even Tapu Bullet survives two super effective moves, that being the Hurricane and the Burnt Bullet Punch, and Tapu Bullet just went for... Woo! The Wood Hammer, though! Holy cow! I just took out Pelipper in one shot, and he also goes down too thanks to the recoil, and of course now we have ourselves a substitute happening on the Volcanion. Holy cow, this is absolutely crazy, man, and now we got ourselves Tapu Koko coming in, and we got the Berlin Wall coming in. Oh, jeez, here we go. And it goes for that Protect, and let's see what's gonna happen here, man, and that Thunderbolt, that's not gonna do anything to the Berlin Wall, and we got the Bug Bite happening, and well, that didn't even break the substitute, and now we got the Steam Eruption, and... Another crit right there takes down the Tapu Koko. Oh, shit. Oh, this ain't good. And we got Naganandel coming in. And what's going to happen here, man? We got the Bullet Punch. Obviously not going to be doing that much damage. And we got the Sludge Bomb. That is going to take down the Substitute right there. But I'm still not liking the chance because that Flamethrower is going to take down that Mega Scizor. Oh, snap. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! The Jarabo took down Naganandel. And that right there is going to be the game what an impressive and dominating victory by Grand Impress 4 to 0. 
Great game by both competitors, but holy cow, like, that right there just goes to show Stack Attack Up, man. It is finding its niche, and it's, it's, it's just, it's finding its role very well in the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon metagame. This is so awesome. So, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead now and let's move on to our fourth and final battle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so coming up next is our final battle. We have a Gen 7 OU match, and we got the Wolves Machine versus the Sardinian guy. I think that's how you pronounce it. But anyways, let's get right to the match. So the Wolves Machine is packing the Lycan Rock Dust form. Very, very nice choice. We get to see that shit in action, man. I cannot wait. We also have ourselves the Feral Thorn. We got the Land Rosterian. We have either the regular Greninja or the Ash Greninja. We have Heatran, and I believe that's got to be a Mega Low Punny right there. Now, the Sardinian guy is packing the Greninja. We have the Magirna. We have Mew. We have Naganandel. Woo! Here we go, baby. And I believe that's got to be the Latios, or I should say the Latios and the Mega Pinsir, man. Oh, I'm getting all mixed up already. But with that said, guys, let's go ahead and let's get into our final match. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. So we're leading things off with Mega Low Punny against Greninja. Oh, here we go. And Greninja switches out knowing better. And we got the Mew now switching it. And yep, that's Mega Low Punny in full effect. Going right for that fake out onto the Mew. And well, that's not going to be doing too much damage. That's not even going to flinch. So he has to switch out now and goes into the Greninja. And well, he sets up the Stealth Rocks, probably fearing that will wisp But let's see what's going to happen next though, man. And Mew now switches out. It goes right into the Magirna, and we got that Hydro Pump. Woo! Oh, oh, shit. That's going to do some damage, and Magirna switches out. It goes into Naganandel, and it missed the Hydro Pump. No! Oh, man. So Greninja's got to switch out. It goes into the Heat Train, and let's see this now, baby. And we got the Draco Meteor. That's going to be doing That's gonna be doing a clean 44% damage to Heat Train. That's a lot. Woo! Oh, man. So Naganandel's got to switch out and goes back into the Greninja. And Heatran now switches out and goes back into his own Greninja. Let's see this now, man. Uh-oh. And we got the Dark Pulse happening. And that's going to be doing respect. And it missed again. Are you kidding me? It missed its second Hydro Pump. Oh, man. But now we have ourselves a Lopunny coming in. And a Mega Lopunny, I should say. And Greninja now switches out and goes into Latios, man. Woo! Here we go, baby. So we got the Mew now switching back in. Going to be taking that fake out. But still, though, it's like low bunny. It's like you can't break down that pink cat too easily. But it comes the Greninja, and let's see what's going to happen here. Muna switches up. What is going on? It's like a revolving door of Pokemon. So that Draco Meteor is scarfed. All right, the Latios is scarfed. Take a Greninja down with that Draco Meteor. Holy cow. And now we have ourselves Lycan Rock Dust 4 coming in. I want to see this thing in action. I want to see this thing in big action. We got Magirna coming in. And it doesn't it doesn't take that Stone Edge too well. It just goes down, clown. And now we got Greninja coming in. Oh, shit. Here we go. So Lycan Rock's got to switch out. And we got Ferrothorn coming in. See? And that Dark Pulse is... Whoa! That's going to be doing some damage. All right. I wonder if that thing is like Specs or something. So he switches out now. And we have ourselves Naganendel coming back in. And well, it just got leech seeded. Oh no. Here we go. Here we go, baby. But did this thing could have. What? It switches. It goes into Pinsir, man. I was thinking that thing could have Fire Blast. And Ferrothorn now switches out. It goes back into the Heat Train. But let's see this now, baby. Oh shit. Here we go. Here we go, man. So Heat Train again switches out. And we got the Land or Asterion coming in. Gonna get that Intimidate drop going on. And it's Mega Mega Pinsir, I should say. And that returns. Not doing too much damage. And he gets hit by the Rocky Helmet. Oh, let's see this. So he switches out. Mega Pinsir goes back into the Ash Greninja. And we got the. Whoa! Nicely done with the prediction on the U-turn, man. Woo! Very, very good. And now we have ourselves the Mega Low Punny coming in. And let's just. He switches again and goes into Latios. Oh, man. Whoa. That return's going to be doing good damage, but Latios barely hangs on, and Low Punny now switches out, goes back into the Ferrothorn. I'm starting to sweat a little bit, man. And that Psy Shock's not going to be doing too much damage, but man, oh, man, alive. This action is just, it is packed to the brim right now, and we got ourselves Mew switching back in, and the Leech Seed. Oh, nicely done, that prediction, though. Very, very nice. All right. So let's see what's going to happen next, though, man. So Muna switches out and goes back into the Ash Greninja. And let's see. He starts setting up those spikes, man. He, he's just he's savage. He's not even caring. He is not even caring. And, and Ferrothorn is now getting set up with the spikes. And, well, see, not for long, though, because that power up just took down the Ash Greninja. Oh, snap. 
All right, man. So now we got ourselves Naganando coming in. Now the way he switched it in, that thing has to have fire blast, man. And now we got the heat train coming back in. Let's see this now, baby. Let's see this. And well, let's flip door, and he gets it gets just drank right up thanks to the flash fire, baby. Oh shit! No, he gets taken down by the Draco Meteor. Oh shit! Oh snap! And oh god, that's not good. That is very, very not good because Beast Boost now just boosted the speed. Oh jeez, that's not. And why he switches it? Well, I guess because of the the minus two special attack drop, and we have ourselves a fake out on the pincer. And well, Low Pony now's got to switch out, goes back into the landers. And let's see this now, man. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see. And we got the the quick attack's not gonna be doing that much damage, but he's gonna be hitting hard that Rocky helmet. And we got another quick attack, and he's just wearing himself down, man. And no, he goes for the U-turn. What are you doing? What? Why? And now we got the Lycan Rock Dust Four, man. Okay. Uh, I think we might have something to play here. We got the quick attack happening and with the crit not gonna be taking him down and Whoa, uh oh, oh, that's not good. And we got, oh, we got the Acel Rock happening. Oh shit That's why I didn't go for Acel Rock first and now we got the Mew coming in. Oh snap. Here we go Whoa, we got the Z power happening and let's see this and the splinter storm shards. Oh shit That takes down the Mew. Oh snap that's just crazy. Now we got the Nega Nandel coming in. And we have the Acel Rock. And well, Nega Nandel had no choice but to go down to the power of Acel Rock. And the Sardinian guy has forfeited. And the Lowell's Machine gets the victory. Yo! Yo! That was absolutely amazing. A great game by both competitors. Holy cow, man. I just gotta say, that was absolutely action packed and fantastic. And we're, we're respectable up on the ladder, too, because we're in the 1400s now. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these battles submitted by these amazing people. And if you did, then make sure you smash the like button. And also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And that's going to conclude this video, guys. So with all that being said, I want to say thank you guys all very much for watching this video. Don't forget, subscribe, support, stay positive, give it 100. I love each and every single one of you guys, and I will see you guys next up, bro.